Welcome back guys to another video of Kuhong Tutorials with Everything Design. Today's video is about creating curve architecture in walls. You will learn how to achieve seamless curves and how to add a platform with under lights. First, draw your floor plan as you normally would. Just a tip here for balcony or garden, always label the space as terrace to remove the ceiling and change the wall's height to zero for a garden space, or customize it for a balcony. I'm going for a bigger garden space, so I will make this area larger. Once you have done that, proceed with selecting each wall individually, click on curb and start shaping the walls. Split the walls to achieve a continuous curve. There is a beauty in cornerless spaces, you don't feel boxed in. I quickly added ceiling lights.
To write a platform we use the material and component tool. Use the line tool to draw the shape. Follow along the wall edge and connect the line. Select chamfer to round the edges. Use the push and pull tool to raise the platform. Let's learn how to add lights to your platform. First, draw the shape of your platform. Once you're done, select the light strip option. Adjust the color and height of the tube. It's important to position it just a few millimeters above the floor so that the light gently pours out from the bottom. Take a look here. If the light is too open, it will scatter harshly. That's why it's best to keep this area low. Now it looks better. The light is covered, and only a small portion flows out. In the render, it looks very pretty, right? Next, let's add furniture and decor. Everything I used can be found in the public library. While designing, you may have noticed that you cannot edit curved walls or add anything to them. However, I managed to put a fireplace in this wall. Here's how you can do it. Go to the floor plan and add a door opening. Change the properties of the opening to fit your desired size. Now, go to the Material and Component tool to close the opening from the back. Connect the corners using a line and push it to cover any empty areas. Now, you have a place where you can put a fireplace or use it as shelving. Now, let's embark on a serene journey and capture some stunning renders of our design. Take a moment to adjust the sunlight, allowing its gentle rays to create beautiful effects throughout the day. Personally, I find the scenes at sunrise and during sunset to be particularly enchanting. To achieve this, I recommend keeping the sun's elevation below 15 degrees. Once you've made your adjustments, Save your edits and initiate the rendering process.
In order to truly understand how light interacts with your design, I encourage you to render from various perspectives. This will unveil the captivating play of light and shadows in different areas. Now, let's move on to the night scene. Adjust your lights to your preferred temperature, aiming for a warm and cozy ambience that perfectly complements the interior. And now, it's time for the much-anticipated moment of revelation. Behold the stunning result. To create this dreamy atmosphere, I simply adjusted the value of the dazzling effect to 6. If you're eager to learn more about render techniques and light adjustments, please let me know in the comments. I would be delighted to create more videos exploring these topics. Feel free to experiment with the environment outside or add your own touches to evoke different seasonal effects. Now, let's immerse ourselves in the captivating night scene render. The more you play with the lights, the more captivating the final result becomes. I'm eager to hear your thoughts on this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials like these. If you're curious about how to create a kitchen for a curved space, stay tuned for future videos. Click the link below to access a one-month free pro membership with Kuhom, a tool that will unleash your creativity. Thank you for joining me on this journey, and until next time, may your imagination flourish. Thank you for watching.